Welcome back, Digi Peeps, to Surviving with Friends with Reality's Mark Scorch Candy. We so, are about to get on with the judgment of Carry On, and Candy's here. Hello, Candy. How you going, Mark? I'm good. Sorry, I talked over you trying to say hello before. <laughs> I will destroy <laughs> you. Straight you're up. You're gonna be Candy, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> are you calling yourself fat? Because you probably shouldn't do that. I wasn't calling myself fat. Well, I was just saying, if I'm going to destroy you, you specifically, said you, yeah, and you're like, destroy exactly. your world. Oh, all right. Yeah, okay, large I get you. See, I had to explain the joke, therefore it wasn't funny. No, not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me Billy alone, I'm life. a little slow. <laughs> yeah, it's not the only thing. <laughs> wow. I'm joking, don't hurt me, I'm sorry. Ellie, five life. Because five is what? higher than four. Okay. It's more than four. What? I won't hurt you. Hey, low settings. It works for me. Excellent. In a not so excellent way. I mean, it works, but you don't get to see the beauty of all these medium resolution textures. Meh. Check out Diomedes jetpack. It's 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 an octagonal polygon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, makes me want to sit down and remake his model. Every century served. <laughs> yeah. Battle in the Emperor's name. All of it ordered by a heretic. All our glory's lies. There is nothing left to say. No. Hey Mark, do textures actually take up too much more processing power? Depends on the resolution of the texture map. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Like, if you're using, like... Four or eight K texture, then it's gonna use a little more processor, but it's not gonna it's not gonna use a huge amount. It's not like if you have yeah, okay. like a mesh so what I'm, what I'm saying is that would you polygons. be better doing an eight K texture map and having a low poly model than having a high poly model? It's it depends on the use and what it's going for. Like if you're if you're just going for, generally, you want low poly assets for games because it renders them in real time, so they need to be lower, which you can see here by these models of these troopers. They're low poly, but they've got detail on them because it's painted on the map. But if they were high poly, it would be literally struggling to animate and render them because of the amount of polygons. So yeah, it literally know. comes down to what you're using it for. But a low poly asset with an 8K texture would look fairly good because the yeah. 8K texture would make up the difference. But you've also got to balance off the fact that an 8K texture is still going to take more processing power to render in real time on a game engine than, say, a 4 or a 2K texture. Yeah, for sure. Hey, look, my uh, guys can actually move now. Excellent. For the record, YouTube, if you want to know what that was all about, I teach 3D design. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> and I'm one of the students. Excellent. Cutscenes. Can you see the cutscene? I can. Excellent. Also, for the record, YouTube, this is the second time we've tried to record this map because, for reasons that this game decided were relevant, Candy couldn't see anything. Yeah. So we had to start again. <clears throat> These orcs, mate. It's, it was the orcs' fault. Let's play the orcs. Let's play orcs. <laughs> Those damn dirty orcs. I love the mission before this for the orcs. Uh, the uh, nail brain gets on the teleporter, and yeah. the the big boss is just like, I have no idea if that means that worked or didn't. Oh well. <laughs> it jumps on as well. Why not? I mean. <laughs> If you're living in a, in a world where it's constantly war, and like, literally, that's all everybody does because reasons, yep. then how you die is kind of irrelevant. <laughs> yep. You may as well make it glorious on the way out, you know? Exactly. I'm gonna go collect these, um, red points over here. Okay. Are you gonna be right, or do you want some support? They'll be fine, I'm pretty sure. They're chasing up you, anyway. Excellent. Well, I can make them... Like target diamonds with taunt ability, so I suppose we're in a good position. Yes. So, so um, we found out what happened to the force command for the last game. He got killed by Tarkus. Yeah. He did. Yes. Hmm. Seems unfortunate. I'm not sure whether that technically classifies as um, 
not it wouldn't technically be her well would it be classified as heresy if you killed your commander as a space marine? No. Okay. Just got a uh, so. an achievement unlocked. Um, in answer to your question, uh, no, it wouldn't classify as heresy because he was a heretic. Yes, but if you couldn't prove that he was a heretic and you killed him, would you still be considered a heretic? Well, he tried to lead them down the path of the dark side, quote unquote, so they could prove he was. <laughs> yes, I suppose that's true. I know the, the law regarding that sort of thing in the 40k universe isn't always uh, clear cut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's because it's got like a heap of different authors, it's not consistent. Mm. Well, I mean, it was deliberately designed to be open for canon and fan written stuff because there's, there's 20, is it 24 chapters and two of them have never officially been written for? Uh, the, the reason why two of them have never been written for is to give rise to custom chapters, one legion that's yeah. uh, uh, loyal and one legion that's against the Emperor. Yeah, or, or whatever the fans writing it, or, or one two. Yeah. <coughs> well, yeah, they're not gonna, they, there's um, two unknown chapters, uh, there's two unknown legions, they're not mm -hmm. ever gonna be written about because it gives a great deal of flexibility for customised chapters yeah, yeah. on the tabletop. Yeah, exactly. Like, as far as Games Workshop is concerned, they won't, uh, yeah. won't write one. Oh, check out the drop pods just below us. Check that out, that's where the yeah, marines load into. That's really, really cool. That's really cool. You gotta ask your question. Ask the question: Why are Tyranids coming out of an orc teleporter? Don't question it. Just accept it. It's 40k. Doesn't have to make <laughs> sense. <laughs> uh, I suppose if any two races were ever to work together pro properly in the 40k universe, it'd be the orcs and the Tyranids. No. No. Why not? They neither uh, of them have Tyranids any real reason why everything. they fight. They are. They they don't reason and they they don't connect with anyone. They don't do anything but That's eat. True. I need yes, help I over suppose. here. Okay, come on. Get off those hand grenades. Yeah. Oh shit. They all just got molested. Holy crap. Oh wow. <laughs> Whoops. I was not expecting there's, that. Um, they there's died a weird so boy quickly. following me. I could have come around that way. Sorry, I could have come in from behind them and flanked them. I didn't even realize there was a second opening there. Diomedes, do your thing! Kill all the orcs! <coughs> yeah, I, I, I like... I really wish I had enough sort of... What's the word? I don't want to say creativity, because I do have creativity, like, but it's when it comes to writing. Like, I really wish I had the ability to write a good story and write my own, like, chapter story. Yeah. I think that would be really Oh, actually, I wrote a book the other day. I should get you to read it for me. Oh, I'll be happy to do that for you if you want. Ooh, um, you've got a weird boy over you, haven't you? I do. Come and give me a hand, because there's also a um, an orc killer can. Careful, this killer can can see that reinforcement point. Sure. Well, I need to. I need to. Um, Run anyway, because the weird boy was going to kill my marines. See the weird boy? Out of control? Yeah, that, yeah I love See that. See how he's floating all over the place? That happened with with a random standard walk in the last time we tried to record this one. I love that. It's like, what? Possessed. Oh, right. He's not, only an, he's not only a mutant, an alien, he's also a heretic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so true. Um, yeah, oh, the look, space marines are all over his That's us. fun. We should let the counterpoint kill the Wait, where's the counterpoint? Over oh, here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let's um, it's just not kill the orcs and leave it to the counterpoint. So my, um, flamers are actually doing really well. To be honest. Oh, you got terminators with flamers? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I need help with when, the counterpoint. Just... Yeah, hang on. Come on. Just gotta watch out for this, uh, war truck. Artifacts die! Oh, 
I was unfortunate. Just use his psychic powers to draw that Terminator towards him. That is unfortunate. I think we'll be able to retreat back to the point because there is a um, bunch of uh, warrior groups. Warrior? I can't even English today. A bunch of warrior That's groups fine. just coming from the side. You'll be able to uh, actually yeah, try and retreat that the dirty back if you can. Yeah, I am trying, I'm going to get him healed because. I think I might upgrade him with the plasma, uh, with the multi melter because it's really good against vehicles. Even though the Carnifex is uh, Carnifex is yeah, it's, it's really good against uh, Carnifexes as well, monstrous creatures. Yes. Good thing you didn't lose that dreadnought. We wouldn't have had another one um, if you did. Not yet, no. We have to take out this objective over here before we get ah, a base yeah. to be able to. Yeah, I think I gotcha. Oh, it's a gift <clears throat> Teleporter. I'll put two assault cannons on the Terminators, so the long range support. Sweet. Don't forget they can get the um, shoulder mounted rocket pods too. I, I, yeah, I, I remember that one actually. But I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> no, that off goes high dirty. rate of fire is going to be uh, more useful. Yes. Well, the with the orcs, they're you know but, fairly. Well, that's steady the reason why I got the um the flamers, but you know they apparently well, want to yeah. want to die. I uh, want to want flamers to are kill a lot more effective us. against um, what's it called? Xenos. Hordes, yeah. yeah. Well, hordes of any kind, but the the okay. orcs don't have hordes at the moment. They just have mechs, so. This is uh, where the next cutscene will come in. Yeah, right. It'll be after the Easy. Dreddy's getting a bit chewed up. Oh. So I can pull him out. He wasn't on front until the jump troopers jumped in on top of him. No, I lost him. That's fun. We'll be able to retrieve him soon. Nah. Oh. There's a turret there. Oh, I'll kill the turret. Hang on. Oh, I've got it. Before you get into position, I'll take it. Oh, there's another one over there. My bad. Didn't see the second one. No, it's fine. We got it. We right. did. So these are. Uh... M. Derek Termies. Got these wreck packs here. Yeah. Sweet. A cutscene. Yes. <laughs> Who's there? This. Okay. A couple of you know, cans. So I think we can take his own of cable those. to the teleporter. Yeah, and his own supplies in his base. And he's an orc after all. He's not exactly intelligent. No. Let's go take this point. Best line ever about that is, um, I think it's Star Wars Episode One. Is where Jar Jar says to Obi Wan, "Is like, Misa, talk." He's so smart. He's like the, the ability to talk. No, it's Qui Gon. Because the ability to talk does not make you intelligent. Yeah, I love that. Help me, help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You are my only hope. Never mind, I died. <laughs> you need to let it be a little more specific. Oh, I can't language today. Specific. Wow, I really can't language. That's fun. Kill the cans, bring them down. Please do. I'm trying. They're moving. Stop moving. Well, if we take those points, they're not going to be able to kill my guys in time. No, I'll keep attacking them while you try and capture the point. I've got one preoccupied. There's one coming up to the other one. Okay. I got reinforcements, that was a good idea. Yeah, excellent. Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Boom! It's too bad the, um... The, what's it called? Enemies don't take, like, environmental damage from, like, a drop pod landing on their head. Oh, that'd be great. I think orcs do, actually, in the first game. It's been a while sure. since I played the first game, I don't remember. 
Okay, let, me get, let me get let me get a dready. Oh, you also got a dready. Did you get it before I did or not? You no, I just cancelled jewels and uh and built it oh. instead. Oh, I see. How. <laughs> I see how it is. I'll <laughs> yes. uh, well, make sure you upgrade it with the multi melter because there's two tanks through this next section and they are pretty brutal. All right, how? Let me get a. Let me get a uh, a last cannon devastator squad as well. Look, check it out. It's cover that I can't destroy by walking through it. Holy crap! Thanks, coming. He didn't wait for us. No. No, he did not. Although that tank just got long anyway. wrecked <laughs> really, really badly. Yeah. It's funny, I can't walk through those gigantic space shipping crates, but I can walk through a tank wreckage and destroy it. Oh, yeah. Bigger. Oh, yeah. The logic, the cover logic is, is, is real. Uh, that's why I really like, I know I harp on about this a lot, but Men of War Assault Squad 2. Such a good game. Yes. I have seen it, as I've said many times, but I really should see if I can get a copy and check it out, because I think it would be worth playing. Oh dude, this is amazing. Definitely worth playing. I already started making some plans and preparations for the next series of Surviving with Friends once we finish this too. Nice. Nice. Gonna be I, um, people. I actually <laughs> may have like a wee mini episode of Surviving with Friends. To do. Yeah? Yeah, like a Minecraft minigame. Oh yes. Yes. Is it Spleef? No. <laughs> it's oh, a no spleef. zombie tower defense. Zombie tower defense? I don't think I've played that. Yeah, so it's not like third person, you're actually first person defending the tower. Mm -hmm. Armor's pretty good. We are getting small. Drop the sure, it would be nice to have some flamers by now, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Why didn't you upgrade them? <laughs> I did. Don't you lie. Oh, one does have a flamer, apparently. He's just not close enough to use it. No, he has an assault cannon. I don't know what's going on with that. Weird. I don't know if you've noticed it or not, when you do the upgrades on the troops, they, <laughs> um, it's only the... I need the, the squad leader that gets the upgrades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. So you do, you do the, the cannon upgrade, no, but it's only the squad leader. Check this squad. out. It's glitched to me. I can do cleansing flame with the assault cannon. It's amazing. <laughs> Wait, That's I'll awesome. show you as soon as it um Don't destroy this bottom one, I'll show you I'll show you as soon okay. as it uh as it fixes itself. Uh, as it as it recharges, sorry. That's pretty funny. It's What's like, it? cleansing flame with gigantic space machine bolts. I'll do it, I'll do it sort of there-ish. To where, there where your assault squad are. Uh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. So he doesn't get two weapons, he gets a combination of weapons. He gets amazing weapons. He gets an assault, uh, assault cannon that shoots fire. And leaves fire. You Not just shoots it, but leaves it behind. Will not mm. be yes, we're here to steal your teleporter. That technically belongs to us. Yeah. I, um, I don't know why... Bodies. Why, uh, the Imperium doesn't use more napalm against the orcs, so... Why, who doesn't? The Imperium. Yeah, you would think they'd use a lot more flames, because... Orcs. Yeah. Yeah, and given that the orcs are technically fungus, and that's how they reproduce by dropping fungi. spores, you'd think they'd be able to, yeah, fungi, fungus, you know what I meant. I do, but um, I like being a dick. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you'd think they'd, um, thingy. Yes. The thingy. You'd think they'd, um, using we can flame on them would stop today. them from reproducing. You'd you keep cancelling but... my dreadnought. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Hey, you called me a dick, so it's only fair that I you am a dick. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, I'll pay that. Just trying to get okay. a second dreadnought. You keep stealing the requisition points. I got the predator. I noticed. 
just because I wanted to try it out. Uh, <laughs> Elite for life. Elite 5 life. Okay. Because 5 is more than 4. <laughs> Thank you. I made it funny. You did make it funny. You made it funny on the internet. Yay, I made the funny. Where's this oh, Mad Max in the middle? I was gonna say, where is this dude? He's over there. Get out of the... That's true. Get sh Dreadnought, get out of the grenades, mate. Honestly. Uh, uh, that means... That means... Uh, okay. Damn. Hi on. Can you English? I can, <laughs> but I'm gonna go kill my. Sure? Uh, I'm gonna go kill my Devastator Marines because they're useless to me. Why they're useless to you? Because I want another Predator. I don't even know what you did with the first Predator. Well, uh, nothing. It's still alive. It's just pop pack has been reached. Uh, by, I don't know what you did with it, I mean, I don't, oh there it is, I was going to say, where is it? That's funny. Uh, oh, you can let your Devastators get killed, I hope they can, this will kill a can. Yeah, they just got ganked, really. Damn it. I got a bit overzealous. That's fine. What's the big walkie thing called? The, the, the Dreadnought. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Dreadnought. Kill again. Also lost my Terminators. That's oh. fine. I have another Predator. Yes, I noticed. It's amazing. It's possibly better than sex. Oh, that's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is true. It is saying a lot. It's saying a lot about this game that is amazing. Where is this for the kilometer? Is that him behind that building? What? I can't even see him. Where is it? Oh, no, that's not him. Possibly. I'm just gonna let you him? keep going in and dying. And I'm just gonna shoot okay. long range from here. My dreadnought Cleansing takes so much play. damage just walking in the front door. Cleansing play. Ah. The Mad Mech. Maybe the Mad Mech doesn't come out until we actually kill the teleporters, because like, the marker's here. And there's uh, a help bar, but there's no one here. No, uh, just kill the dreadnought and everything. Around. This thing. Oh, there he is. Found him. Where? Is this him in the corner? Yes it is. Okay, cool. Anytime you want to bring your troops up, that'd be cool. You probably would, eh? <laughs> Just a little, you know. <laughs> I'll have fun with that. Where are you? Oh fuck. He just uh completely annihilated my um predator. Yes, he did. Diamond is glitched from inside where the mad mech is outside to where this supply node is. Huh. There you so go. You are useless useless space marine, Diamond. Don't say that. That hurts his shaking shipments. the place apart. Oh man, he's been drinking so much he can't even stand on his own two feet. <laughs> Regardless of the fact that the Must Mad Max is using all his powers to knock shit over. Yep. Where's Diamond? He's again. Oh, that's what's happening. It wasn't Diamond, he's glitching out. It's this friggin' mad mech is teleporting our troops away. I didn't even realize oh, right. that's what he was doing. 
close fun. Well, you have fun with that. My, he, just, he just brutalized my Dreadnought with two shots before I even got near him. <laughs> yeah, dude, he, he does that. It makes me sad on the inside. Really? It makes me sad on the outside. Son of a bitch. Did we get him? Uh, no. But I'm gonna get more <laughs> rep points. Keep calling him. Somebody just predators. jump on him. Yeah, do that. Get your get your assault terminators in here. What are you doing? Where are they? I don't even know where they've been teleported to. Well, there they are. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop teleporting my troops away, you bastard. <laughs> Here's your dreadnought. Yeah, I know. He's over there somewhere. I wanted to make sure he upgraded his long range capabilities before he got in here because this guy kills him before he can even get close. Yeah, how do you think I feel with my, um, five, uh, four dreadnought, uh, four, what you call it? You, you, got, uh, you got four predators over there and they're just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> they're not doing nothing. They're about to get killed by this they thing. They certainly ain't attacking him. <laughs> well, they, two of them just got annihilated. Wow. I really, I really feel like we have better tanks today than they have. That's quite possibly true, but you got to remember that uh, apparently, according to Warhammer law. The ability to make new designs of tanks has been lost to them, and anybody that does research is considered a heretic. Yeah, that's true. Makes like, me sad. The tech priests of Mars are so zealous about what they have and what they don't have, is they don't care. It's like, if they took the time well, to research the tech priests, some more stuff, they could make mega, the tech like, priests awesome can, um, uh, The tech priests can research stuff. Yeah, they just don't. Yeah. Well, no, the tech priests do. Lazy. They can and they do. It's just no one else can. Alright. He's mad doc, man, honestly. Like, I can't even get a single hit on him, because literally as soon as I walk up in front of him, he teleports me away from him. That's funny. I have a wee bit of a, uh, gift for you. You have a gift for me, do you? Because... Right now, I'm not even bothering to resurrect my troops because everything gets teleported away. Well, there's all of your troops just here. They're all dead. Darmides is still tanking him over here, just tanking him like a boss. Right there. Take it, Darmides. Do it. Took it. He took it. He took it deep. We've lost a building to the enemy. What? What building? Oh, that's because it's the. Uh, Turret. So what's it called? A turret that I dropped in. Where are you, Darmides? Are you dead yet? Wow. I don't even know. Where this is he? thing. There he is. This guy. This guy is annoying. This guy. <laughs> Two dreadnoughts. We lost a lot of dreadies. And you want to upgrade the difficulty level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not difficult, it's just tedious. Too close to use the like, he's not. Barrage. We can't really yeah, lose exactly. because, like, Diomedes doesn't die from him. True. Where are you, Diomedes? Get back in here. Um. It's just like. Uh. <laughs> we can't, no, we can't, we can't really lose at all because, like, he just teleports our troops away. Diomedes True. can't die to him, and we get wreck points back from when our troops die. Yeah, that's true. So, um... It's just a very tedious, slow process. Go on, Diamond, he's hit him with that Thunder Axe. Let's zoom in and get it first on, one-on-one -on -one attack here. Oh, Diamond, he's been teleported away again. Gee. Get him. Get him. Battle cry. Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. Now we do. Just brought in another four dreadnoughts from all the battle brothers that died just now. Oh my god! Holy crap! Finally got, got him. him. Okay, so the last <laughs> battle's gonna be I was a half bitch. I half expected him to turn around and obliterate the three Ooh. dreadnoughts you just rolled in with orbital bombard. I got um yes. blood filigree claws. Sick. You got what? <laughs> 
for completing 11 co-op missions as a guest, you earned a reward. Oh, nice. Blood filler rewards. 30 damage. We also... Um, um, attacks hit multiple enemies and on-hit knockbacks units around the target. That's we sick. We also two specialist ammunitions, man. And two normal grenade packs. Yeah. I'm excited to do campaign again with, uh... Uh, with those claws now, because those look really dangerous. Yes. Okay, so do we want the purity seal or the predator upgrade? So, I'm looking. We can take a war gear or a tank upgrade. I think I'm gonna take the tank upgrade. Tank upgrade. There is an incoming transmission from an incoming transmission. Diomedes. One second, I'm just listening to this cutscene. It seems I still have some allies left. In your absence, I astropathed Gabriel Angelos once more, and his response was most disturbing. I will play it back and let you hear for yourself. Inquisitor, though it was the demon Alcare who first rotted the heart and mind of Kairos, it is with another demon the Chapter Master currently treats. This is the demon of Tartarus, of the Maledictum. Unwittingly, it was set free. With a blow from my own hammer. God, it Angelos. seeks to offer up the skulls of the slain to corn, so it may open a warp rift mm. that swallows the scepter. In order to achieve this genocide, Kairos has orchestrated the arrival of the Inquisition and the Exterminatus. We learned as much from Kairos himself. It seems every last one of us has played a part in allowing this it's funny how in 90% of the cases with Chaos Gods, the, the Exterminators, their, their, their usual go-to tool is, sorry, the, the Inquisition, their usual go-to tool is Exterminators, and in most cases with Chaos Gods, the more the more enemies of theirs that are killed, the more, the more reinforcements they've got. Yeah. You'd think the, the Inquisition would sit back and just go, um, hang on a second guys, we're helping them, we should stop. Yeah. What is our next but they don't. It is true that even if we should defeat the traitor, we face condemnation and death. But it is not for pride or favor that we serve, but for the Emperor himself and the purpose he has granted us. If we shall die fulfilling that purpose, so be it. None will find us wanting. Huh. Except when you die, to they'll the call you a traitor, and the, other, the rest of the Legion will go on and pretend to be yep. pure when they're not. We'll and you'll also get called traitors and heretics. Yay! <laughs> oh, the Quarantine Hold is such a fun mission. Which one? I haven't looked at the mission yet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm taking the, um, the stamina upgrade on dummies, the last one. Last stand, when reaching critical health, Diomedes becomes invulnerable and gains all energy back and cannot be suppressed or knocked back for a short duration. Nice. Diomedes is a boss! I'll upgrade, uh, Tarkus' health. So, um... Mm, Tarkus needs it. Let's just get rid of all these bolts and whatnot. Ancient, ancient, ancient. So, only the ancient can use these, um... Weapon upgrades. Yeah. And it won't let me place them on him because he's no longer known as the Ancient. <laughs> he's now Tarkus. Yeah. Makes me sad. You know what I'm gonna do? What? Oh, I can't even dispose of them. That's so annoying. I was gonna. They, they might need um. Well, they might need. His, Actually, they uh... might need. They might a need bolter. the ancient to have a heavy bolter equipped. Yeah. 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 Good point. Oh well. Well, YouTube, that's all we have time for in this episode. If you liked this episode, hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. And uh, if you have any comments, then leave a comment in the comment section, and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh yeah. Bye.